Hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 3. I'm Scarlet. And there is a girl in this saloon who keeps pestering me every time I go in. Or maybe not. Looking's free. Everything else will cost you. Yeah, I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for Lucy West who sits right there. What have you done with Lucy, Colin? Figures, doesn't it? The one time I look for this chick, she's not there. I'm gonna have to run all the way around town trying to find her. There you are. A traveler, eh? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stop by to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure. Let's play Curio for a while. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you tell me some more information about, about this Arafu place? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is it for a start? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Do you suspect your family's in danger or something? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? Not that I can just blow it away? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Alright. Okay. Well, guess I'm going. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yep. Let's see. Uh, blood ties. Now, do I have the equipment for this trip. Yeah, I should be good. Just wish I had a bit better armor though. Oh well. On we go. Whoop. Hello. And it still doesn't know where I am. I almost don't need this cover. Nice. Rubber brains are so stupid. They're only really a danger indoors. Hey, more scrap metal. I'll have to make a stop to Walter after this. Let's see if there's any junk here. Well, that was a... Uh, Fairly worthwhile endeavor. Found a few more 44s, uh, some mines, a bit of junk, and a bit of food as well, because I don't want to keep relying on stim packs. Nice. And I I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I love my 44 Magnum. In real life, I'm not really a fan of revolvers. But in game, a scoped Magnum is pretty much the best conventional ammunition sidearm in the game. Now, let's scope out this place. Yep, that's a few of them. And that's where I'm headed, so let's see if I can skirt around this way. I saw a blip. Whoa, there you are. 
Nope. Old painless. Damn it. I'm going to have plenty of caps after this. Oh, and there's Big Town. We'll get there eventually. I hear a sniper rifle. Oh, hello. Who were you taking pot shots at me like that? There is someone behind me. Alright, let's take those 308s. Combat knife, nice. Awesome. Alright. Whoa. Hi there. A curse blat? <laughs> You just got a bat and a bat and hockey mask. Alright. Well, that's awesome. Continuing on. And here we are. The Arafu Settlement. R rather smart position for a settlement, really. Because only one way to it easy to defend this is where I'd want to live in a world like this hey man whoa Jesus hang on you're not one of them I nearly blasted you in two I'll say get over here before they spot you all right, man, what's the deal? Now, what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Are they raiders or slavers? No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? What's got you so spooked? Nothing. The family are just a bunch of damn punks. Why don't you fight back then? Yeah, sure. I'll just go and take all of them out by myself. What are you, crazy? As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. Help costs caps. Do I look like I just stepped out of Tenpenny Tower? I barely have a pot to piss in. Fine, what do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I've got a message for the West from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. All right, then. I gotta go. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. That's not good firearms discipline, man. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Well, I am sort of a mailman at this point. Sure, yeah. I've got your fall catalog. Oh, goody. I can hardly wait to browse the latest fashions. Please do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Now what if I... What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck dog. out. 
Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? Evan King told me to check on you. Everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. All right, then. Good. Now get out. What a charming fellow. Hello? Yes. Who is it? Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Mr. King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. All right, then. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Hey, I'm going to do something. Eventually. Now, before I check on the Wests... Oh, God damn it! I hope I level up soon, because so many things are a lockpick of 50, which I'm, like, a few points off. A five points off it. Whatever. Oh. You guys had a bad day. As in a really bad day. No, I don't want to sleep. What's in here? Nope. Yeah, I know. Two dead people, I don't know. I'm poking around seeing what they got to sell. How many more old bastards, aren't I? Anyway. Hey, be more careful. Eh, yeah, shut up. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Did you know the Wests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the Wests' place, did you find their son Ian's body? Nope. Just the parents. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Alright then, I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. Thanks, kid. You're alright. Wests had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Do you know where I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Gotta go. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay. Hmm. Well, I already know that I need to head to the metro station. So, uh, Geronimo! Ugh. Even in the game, that gives me chills. 
the jump, not the water. Northwest Seneca Station. Anything in here? I'm President John Henry Heath, and you're listening well, to Well, there's some rad roaches. Oh well, shit. Now, if it isn't the little safe from the vault, mm -hmm. we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do, and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah, well. Time to die. Well, what are you waiting for, bitches? Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. Oh, all right. Oh. Bring out the shotgun. Nope. Damn it, they've got laser weapons. All right, let's put the Chinese assault rifle through its paces. Where are you, bitches? Crippled his arm. Come on. All right, all painless. God damn it, stop moving. Oh, right in the neck. Oh, jeez, you flanking little bitches. All right, then. Granato! Got him. Bang in the face. Alright. There you are. Alright. You wanna get in close? We'll get in close. Come on. Bang! Yeah. God, I hate these people. Laser rifles sell good though. Talent combat armor. Well, I was whining about the lack of good armor. Another guy having a bad day. You are not. not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Well, I wasn't, but now that you mention it. What secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Ultra Jet? Is that some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. What do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Make it 30 caps and you've got yourself a deal. Nope, it's 15 each. You wanna do it or what? All right, I'm in. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Hey, I said I would never buy or sell camps. Never said anything about providing the ingredients to make them. Oh shit. Give me my shotgun. Yep. That's my lurk. Hey, buddy. Face. Three shots. Toro, Toro. Come, come. Bangy. Oh boy. Man, the trigger on this shotgun is not very responsive a lot of the time. Anyone else? No. Oh shit! Run! 
Again with the traps. Oh, hi. Uh. Where was that? Alright, light on. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. Ow. Wow, I'm running low on stims. Alright, you pesky. Give me that mine. Oh, boy. Is there a mine under this? No. Good. <laughs> ah! God damn it! Give me that. Ah! I see you. Doink! What were you triggering? Yeah. Whatever. Well, this looks like the right place. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I was wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. Not really. Let's try the speech option. I really need to get by you. I don't care what you need. This place is off limits and that's that. Right on. Caps. Sounds like an interesting problem. Let me take a hundred of those off your hands. You know, lighten the load. That's very helpful. Here you go. I suggest taking the door around the corner if you want to get where I think you're going. You'll find it unlocked in a moment. Uh huh. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. All right then. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. What's the big idea? Oh, shut up. Just unlock the gate. And do you have to play the Enclave station in here? Nope. Alright. I've got no idea how long this is going to take. And seeing as my recording is at about 30 minutes already, I might just cut it up now. Continue this in the next episode. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So, in the next episode, we'll talk to good old Vance over there. Until then, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. I'm Scarlet. See you later.